is going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I'm going to show you guys how to remote play from your iPhone and or iPads now the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download the PlayStation remote plays official app on the iOS app store make sure you guys have the official one because there's a lot of uh, phony balonies out there Next, you're going to want to, uh, once you're downloaded, you're going to need to sign into the PlayStation Network account that you want to be able to remote play from. Um, I've already done that, but the next step is connecting this to that. So I'm actually going to hit start and it's going to search automatically. Um, now, keep in mind, there are, um, you know, different ways you can actually connect. You're going to have to register your device to your PS4. So before we get into this, I did want to mention when you are when it's searching initially for the um, the remote play um, on the PlayStation 4, I recommend you go through manually because if you do it automatically, it can take some time. So what you're going to want to do is uh, let's just actually get out of remote play really quickly. Um, and also, you can't use uh, your PlayStation 4 controller on your PlayStation 4 to remote play. So that's a thing as well so what you're gonna want to do is go into settings and then you're gonna scroll down to remote play connection settings and then you're gonna add a device when you add a device it's gonna be prompted with numbers on the screen this is only available for a limited amount of time and it's a one-time use once you have it registered then um, you guys will see right now I have it registered um, I have it registered a couple of times on different devices, um, but then you will be able to just click in and remote play automatically. So I'm actually gonna go back in and um, go back into remote play right now. It's searching for the PS4. And keep in mind, like I said, if you have it in rest mode, this is a fantastic uh, option for you guys as well. Um, so I like the fact that you have the buttons here, and this also serves as a, a second controller. Maybe you're chilling, you're watching Netflix, and uh, you, you know you you want to turn off the PS4 and just uh, stream it from here. Um, but Netflix is available on your mobile devices as well. So this really only is good for like if you want to like stream games. I'm gonna actually hop into um, Realm Royale so that way you guys can see exactly kind of how it is so I'm gonna switch over to my iPhone um, because I don't know if you guys could tell this screen is actually displaying the PS4 and this screen is uh, connected directly with my iPhone and um, you know connected to my Elgato capture card so I'm gonna test this out and kind of see how the gameplay is and see how um, you know the response time is and everything like that so let's go ahead and hop over so that way you guys can see the button layout in all of its glory and stuff like that all right guys so now we are actually on my iPhone I'm recording this uh, live right now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to select a match I'm gonna just select a solo match and see how we do with remote play and um, these new buttons on the iPhone. All right, so, so far, not half bad. There is some lag, as you guys can see. Holy cow, there's a lot of lag, um, and the network connection has been lost. So I'm actually gonna give up on playing uh, a multiplayer game right now, and I'm actually going to um, go back in and play uh, a, a different game maybe one that's a little bit easier to play let's go ahead and go back out of this screen here is remote play for me definitely uh, I, I play remote play on the PC and that's pretty cool because you can actually connect your PS4 controller to it um, is remote play ideal for uh, you know some games on the iOS, maybe, um, but for this one, I'm probably gonna say no. Um, so, like, my experience so far has not been all that great. I'm actually gonna exit out of this game. Um, you know, it, it has pretty good response time for the most part. Um, like I said, there is some lag. I am on a really good internet connection um, for both of my PS4. My PS4 is on a LAN connection in my um, iPhone is on a uh, a really good Wi-Fi connection so 
we shouldn't be experiencing any lag whatsoever but here we are all right guys so i've tested out the remote play on ios devices and what i definitely have to say is multiplayer games on the touchpad are going to be a little challenging in fact any games that have you use the analog sticks is going to be a little bit difficult uh, because when you're touching the screen uh, your fingers actually kind of go over the top of um, some of the gameplay as well so um, like I said when we're able to actually connect uh, PS4 controllers and or other controllers to our, our iPhones that's going to be a good thing but just using it as is with the touch screen I didn't find it that enjoyable in fact it was really hard to use to be completely honest with you guys I'm not really you know like a mobile game uh, mobile gamer I'm more of a console and PC gamer um, so you know it this doesn't come as like second nature to me there are some games that you know I do enjoy playing but this is what I'm talking about like you know being able to use the analog sticks it's a little bit difficult because it does overlay and uh, go over to some of the top of the gameplay. Um, as you guys can see here, you know, it's like I'm blocking the view of the majority of the game. So that kind of sucks. Um, but i love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section below. Uh, the lag and latency is normal for what, you know, a remote play um, would be like um, there's not much of a difference um, they do recommend an iPhone 7 or higher um, to be able to run a uh, proper remote play on it so that's something else to actually consider um, not all iPhones and all devices will be capable of running remote play on your PlayStation 4 um, but with the current state of it and how it is um, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it right now PlayStation Vita, if you guys have a PlayStation Vita, that's definitely a really good device to remote play on, to be completely honest with you guys. Rest in peace, uh, <laughs> PlayStation Vita. Um, other than that, uh, you have other options for remote play. But ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to do it for me in this video here today. Of course, that was my experience, but I'd love to know your guys' experiences in those comments down below. If you guys are new, make sure to hit a like and let me know your guys' honest thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Honestly, I'm I'm definitely not going to be doing remote play, but I will see you guys in the next news update. Well, remote play on my, my iPhone. I'm, I'm definitely not going to do remote play on this guy. But, yeah, you guys are freaking awesome.